right, let's talk about Mr. Blanding Builds His Dream House, a 1948 com American comedy starring Cary Grant, Myrna Loy, and Melvin Douglas. Uh, this is a movie that was later remade into uh, The Money Pit, uh, starring Tom Hanks and... Oh, I can't remember who the, the co-star was. And a co-star. Uh, and indeed, it is a money it is a money pit movie where Cary Grant plays a uh, semi sort of struggling uh, a, a, com, uh, advertising advertising executive who uh, is struggling to make wham ham uh, a thing and uh, decides he wants to get out of the city out of his really cramped tiny little New York apartment that he lives with his wife and his two daughters in and get a dream house house and all of the um, mishaps and difficulties and just fucking pain of of a having a buying a house without getting it properly inspected and then b building the dream house and all the things that come up with that and Cary Grant does a very good job of being that put upon guy who's just like one thing after another thing happens and being kind of a bit of a doofus uh, in, in like what decisions he, he and his wife Myrna, Myrna Loy make. Uh, Myrna Loy being a really good kind of, uh, well, a good comic foil. It is, it is the lightest, the lightest of comedies. Um, their friend and uh, lawyer, Melvin Douglas, uh, he, he, the guy he plays he is the voice of reason. He is also strangely the the kind of the jealousy subplot that's in this movie where Myrna Loy and he apparently were a thing in college, but he cho ended up cho choosing Cary Grant. And Cary Grant is playing such kind of hapless twit in this, still being Cary Grant, that you kind of, you, you actually believe it. And you actually kind of, you, you think that like the... To be honest, there's a very dirty-minded part of myself that's like, yeah, they, Mel, um, Mel, um, Melvin Douglas and Myrna Loy were totally having, se their characters were just totally having sex uh, off to the side, and Cary Grant just had had no goddamn clue. That is the kind of the weird, dirty subplot going on in this, or maybe that's headcanon. Um, as it's shown, they're perfectly innocent spending nights together where the 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 bridge is straight way um the bridge is washed out or supposedly washed out and Cary Grant arrives there in the morning he's talking to Myrna Loy and then suddenly Melvin Douglas shows up in his pajamas just like what the fuck what the fuck it's like yeah they're they're totally banging in my head can and perhaps I'm also thinking that just because it's such a nothing movie in a way um, you know, really great actors, well written, but it's like it just there's nothing here. Um, it is funny that this is based on a actual a, a nonfiction book by um, by uh, Eric Hodgson's. It was a novel, but it's all about a dream house that he in, in, indeed himself made. Uh, had made and then ended up having to sell it because he just didn't have the money and even when with the success of this movie he wasn't able to buy it back whereas in the movie it's like ah they have the dream house and they're all happy and 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 you know the wham ham is is figured out because of a stereotypical um black servant maid which is just is one of these huge this characters of it's a black person in one of these movies of the era you're you're a maid you're a chauffeur or something like that. It's that it is the race, the internal just systematic racism of the time that, uh, that there's, that they can never be allowed to be leads or very, very rarely were. Indeed, it's very notable when, uh, actors of color actually get to be leads in, in, in movies, especially, and not particularly in Hollywood movies. This would be outside of Hollywood that they would find, be able to find success. So yeah, Mr. Blanding builds his dream house. Forgettable, except for the weird cuckold um, subplot. All right. I've been Jay. More videos later.